So, yeah. I know I've already answered this question multiple times. I even answered this question in the first video where I talk about the comics I made with s in them, but somehow this question still keeps getting asked. Why is my Sonic fan character named s &T? And what does s &T stand for? For those that stumbled upon this video without any prior knowledge of me, hi, I'm Courtney, and I made this video in 2016 about a Sonic the Hedgehog comic I made when I was 10. It starred an original character named s &T, and it has become my most popular YouTube video. This character has also been this channel's namesake for over 10 years. She is very important to me, as you can imagine. And, yes, I absolutely know that her name can be confusing. So this is why I'm making this video, to clear the air and to give the people that are likely to ask this question in the future a reliable source that I can link them to. So let's begin in the beginning. The year was 2004. I had just gotten into Sonic thanks to my friend Jake sharing a Sonic-heavy issue of Disney Adventures magazine with me. This wasn't my first time being exposed to Sonic, mind you. A few years prior, I watched Sonic Underground in the mornings before Pokemon came on, and I didn't really think much of it. However, when Jake info-dumped the lore of Sonic and his many friends, I suddenly became a lot more interested in the series. We roleplayed as Sonic characters on the playground after school with our friends, and I would always be Cream the Rabbit. And then, I never saw him again. Summer break came upon us, and because I was a year older than him, I graduated elementary school before him. But his infectious enthusiasm for Sonic never left me. I carried it with me all throughout my summer break, where I found children in my summer camp program who were just as excited about Sonic as I was. We roleplayed out battles with Dr. Eggman, only this time I would be playing a character that I thought up on the spot, a robot built by Eggman that looked like a female hedgehog. No relation to Breezy, because I didn't know about Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog as a kid. As time went on, I started developing this character more. The school year started back up, and I started drawing what was essentially prototype versions of SNT, a robot disguised as a female hedgehog named Sonya. I'm sure Sonic Underground influenced the name choice. Unfortunately, practically all drawings of this character have been lost to time. But I do remember giving her a ponytail much like SNT has now, as well as Amy's dress in dark blue. Eventually, the idea of a girl having secret ties to Eggman was repurposed into something else. This would happen when I met my cousins. They were named Jacob and Callie. Jacob is the key to this whole story. I realize as I'm typing this that this is a super weird coincidence knowing two kids with similar names that determined my fate with this Sonic OC. Trust me, I'm weirded out too. But anyway, Jacob had a Nintendo GameCube. Jacob also had Sonic Mega Collection. Him, Callie, and I played the games together, and I learned even more about the world of Sonic. Then, as always, we decided to go outside and roleplay as Sonic characters. I mentioned to Jacob and Callie that I was gonna make an original Sonic character that was a female experiment created by Dr. Eggman to befriend Sonic so that he could fall in love with her and she could backstab him. Jacob and Callie were very interested in the idea, so I explained further. I mentioned that Eggman created this experiment using the DNA of Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails. That way, she could easily defeat Sonic and his friends. She wasn't a villain, though. She was actually a good guy that will eventually betray Eggman. Then I mentioned how I had no idea what to name this character. I had thought to reuse the name Sonya, but I wasn't in love with the idea. Then Jacob, young and bright-eyed, said this to me. Why don't you name her s &T? You know, like Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails. Now, mind you, I was fully aware at the time that Knuckles started with a K. And I did correct him on that. But, the more I thought about the name s &T, the more I started to like it. Not really sure why. At the time, it just felt right. So, the name stuck. 
Her name was now SNT. The day after, I drew my very first drawing of SNT. I gave her a ponytail like Sonia had, and she had a dress like Amy's, except now it was pink instead of dark blue. I also added more embellishments that would stay part of her design even to this day. Her purpose was changed just a bit from a long game double agent to a general ultimate weapon, but her personality stayed pretty much the same throughout. She was, and still is, my baby, and her name was SNT. Now, here's a question I don't get as often, but is still worth answering. If you know Knuckles starts with a K, then why didn't you ever change it? And will you ever change it? Well, I have a simple answer and a complicated answer. I'll start with a simple answer first. I just like how SNT sounds. It rolls off the tongue better than SKT does, and other rearrangements of the letters just don't sound right to me. Her name has always been SNT, and I don't see any point in changing it. Now, here's the complicated answer. About three or four years ago, after that fateful day, something happened. Something so awful that to this day, it still rocks me to my core when I think about it. I'll leave a trigger warning just in case. Jacob, the kid that spoke those life-changing words to me, was hit by a drunk driver. He was outside playing in the front yard when someone swerved off the road and hit him. He did not survive. This was less than a year after the family had moved away to another state. We weren't able to take the long trip to attend his funeral. I only ever saw Callie once after that happened. I don't even really know where that family is now. I guess I kept the name SNT all these years in his memory. That kid Naive as he was at the time, changed my life. Changing her name now would just feel wrong to me. Her name is SNT. It stands for Sonic Knuckles Tails. It's an N instead of a K because my cousin named her and I keep this name in his memory. Confusing as it is, I see no point in changing it. So, yeah. <laughs>